Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today we are going to see a small example of how you can do video live streaming using Microsoft Azure. Okay, so the first thing that you need is to have an already created media services resource. So if you don't have it, you should go and do it now. Okay. After you have your media services resource created, you will see a screen similar like this if you are on your media service. Okay. Then one thing that you can do is you have to go to your live streaming uh, section and here you can add a live event so you will put a name for that event so I'm going to put just test event actually I just name demo event right and you can choose the cloud and coding right in this case I am not going to do any coding so I will just use the pass through the input details, this is basically the protocol that you are going to use to ingest the video. So the most widely used is the RTMP as far as I know, right? And then you can either, uh, you can select a static hostname or fix or leave it at known. You will get a definition or a sample input URL, right? And then it will ask you if you want to start the live event at once or no. So we don't want to start it yet and we will just do this. Preview plus create. And then we will create it. So we already have a demo event created, right? Here you see that you can start it right but let's see what happens if you click start in here start live event demo event to prepare for live streaming and it will give you this input URL right and this is the input URL that you will use in your uh, encoding software such as OBS, right? Now there's something that you need to do first. You need to go back to your main tab and you need to go to your streaming endpoints and make sure that the streaming endpoint is actually running. Run it, yes. Go back to the live stream, to the event. I already copied this and now I'm not sure if this is going to work because I am using OBS to record my um, to record this video so I'm not really sure if um, it is going to work so basically the thing that you have to do is you have to go to OBS go to the settings and on the stream select custom for service in the server you will input the input URL that you have in here in Azure and the stream key you can actually put anything in there as long as it's not empty uh, it will work and now after you have configured OBS you can start streaming and once the media services recognizes that there is um, something, it will start loading. As you can see, this is actually what I am recording at the moment. OBS actually did work to both record and stream at the same time. I wasn't expecting that to work, but yeah. And then the other thing that you can do is test 
your live stream in a client. So how you do it, you actually need to have an output. So you create here an output. Recommendation, you actually need to create the output before doing the streaming or before starting the streaming so you can have the actual URL for that. So you will see that now if I go to the streaming locations, actually here, streaming URL. And if I go to Azure Media Player and here I put that URL, the ISM slash manifest file, upload, update player, I will see it here. I will see the information in here. To Azure Media Player and here I put that URL, the ISM slash manifest file, upload, update player, I will see here. I will see the information in here. To Azure Media Player and here I okay, so you saw that was actually an example of the live stream while I was recording this video, right? And then you can uh, check the examples of the Azure Media Player and the documentation to learn how you can use the Azure Media Player in um, an HTML page. You basically need to add scripts, right? You will add a video tag and you will put the URL and you need to configure a couple of other attributes in there depending on who you are going to play the actual source, right? There's also the Azure Media uh, the full setup, right? You can see it here. HTML5, and here you will see. So that's actually an example of how to do video live stream with Azure Media Services. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much for watching. And please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and invite more people to subscribe. Have a great day.